Hey guys, it is Vicstar123 here bringing you a bit of Team Tomahawk gameplay on Hanoi, seeing as you seem to love the last episode so much. I got some positive feedback, so I thought I'd come back and get some epic gameplay where we actually win. And if you want to guess how many kills we win by, you can just leave a comment before the end of the video guessing and I'll have fun reading those. But anyway, for those of you that are new to this, this Team Tomahawk thing is basically where I get a full party of some of my friends and my subscribers and we all put on Tomahawk only classes and we absolutely stun the life out of the enemy and go for some beastly Tomahawk wins. I mean, there's nothing more demoralising than getting beaten by a team of people who are Tomahawking when you're using guns. Right. Um, one quick thing that I want you guys to do is there should be a link in the description to an epic Sticks and Stones clip I got and I wanted to post it on this channel but I've got quite a long upload schedule so I decided to put it on my backup channel so if you go and check it out and please subscribe to my backup channel that would be awesome that's where I'm going to be uploading little awesome clips like that also my Tomahawk montage is midway through completion and that is just awesome I guarantee that you will all enjoy it but anyways, I'm going to move on to the main topic of this video, and that is how to own with Tomahawks. Now, a lot of my subscribers say, can you do a tutorial on how to be good with Tomahawks and such? And honestly, I'm not the best. You'll see that a lot of my friends are actually better than me, and there are probably a lot of you out there that are better than me. But I'm just going to share with you the tactics I use, and they do seem to work for me. Right, I'm going to start off with the class, which is really important. So, as far as perks are concerned, I use Scavenger Pro, absolutely essential for resupplying scavengers, just for those ignorant ones of you. Now, I'm not using a hack or an aimbot, I haven't got unlimited tomahawks, I'm scavenging them. So, Scavenger Pro lets you um, scavenge tomahawks, but the reason you need to have it in Pro, like me, is because then you can resupply concussion grenades and have an extra concussion grenade. So, if you notice in this game, we're just tossing concussions about all over the place. And it's a really great way to just get your opponent stood still, easy shot, even though sometimes we do miss them and then get really frustrated. <laughs> anyway, going to move on to the second perk, which is Warlord Pro, simply because it gives you two lethals, in my case, two Tomahawks. So if I miss my first one, I've got another chance. And then the last perk is kind of optional between Ninja and what Marathon, either in Pro or not. Marathon Pro is quite hard to get because you need to capture 15 flags in CTF and that's partly why I haven't prestige just because I can't be bothered to do that again on my next prestige. So really the perks depend on what kind of playstyle you're going to go for between Ninja and Marathon. If you're going to be running around like we all are here then Marathon's you are maybe going to be sneaking around just trying to ambush people then you're going to be looking more at getting something on like Ninja just to be sneaky. Ninja Pro makes enemy footsteps louder. So if you've got Turtle Beaches like me Ninja Pro is definitely the perk to have. But anyway, I'm going to move on to the kill streaks now. And the kill streaks I would recommend are UAV and Blackbird. But from there on, I think it's really optional whether you want to put on a lethal kill streak or just go with a non lethal counter UAV. Because counter UAV, it irritates the enemy team when they've got a little the fuzzy um, block in their corner and they can't use their mini map. But actually, you don't come up on the mini map when you're using Tomahawks. So it can be counterintuitive because the enemy can be more concentrated on their game rather than looking for red dots on their map. But then if they've got UAVs, it can be good. And that's actually why I've got a Scrambler on here. We're all using Scrambler and just like every so often just randomly place them around the map. And that really is just to irritate our teammates. It's a bit harsh and a bit of a cheap way to play. But you probably all know that when you're really getting really irritated, you start to play much worse and then they're constantly getting concussed by all of us and beaten with tomahawks. I mean, it must be pretty depressing for them. I just love sitting and watching the kill feed in these games, just all those tomahawks. Now, as far as the playstyle is concerned with tomahawk only, I definitely would recommend ambushing people, stunning them and heading round a different way. In this game, because my teammates are here, you can just stun someone and leave one of them to take them out, because a few times we do embarrass ourselves by missing tomahawks, so we just stun the enemy, call one of our teammates to come round and tomahawk them. And these gameplays are going to be more focused around team play than my own um, showcasing my own skill. Obviously, if I do horrendously, then I'm not going to upload it, which I do from time to time. And because it's kind of more team-based, I had an idea, and I'll pass this by you guys and you can decide whether I'll do it or not, 
if we're playing and one of my friends gets a really good feed, then I'll just switch the camera to them. You can watch them and then come back to me. And that might be good fun because it's a bit more action packed. Because as you might, some of you may have seen on Devastation Cinema, I tried splitting the screen into two and having both perspectives for the whole time. But a lot of people said they didn't really know where to look. So from now on, I might just switch between players when good and bad things are going on. Because I really want your help in making this series as good as it can be. Because I'm making them for you to entertain you. So definitely let me know. Now one interesting thing that we were discussing was should we use concussion grenades or flashbangs and actually we decided to go half and half because when you're concussed and you're flashbanged there's absolutely nothing you can do. When people are just flashbanged they can move around and make it quite hard to tomahawk them. When people can, are concussed they can still see and kind of spray at you like if it's a straight down shot just through a doorway then they can take you out. So yeah I definitely recommend just going half and half if you're going to try this out. And a lot of people have said to me, how do you get such good aim with the tomahawks? And as far as that's concerned, I don't really think I can help you that much. Because every single shot is going to be different. It's about anticipating which direction the person's going to move in. And often you can get it wrong. So the most reliable way is just to concuss people and go up behind them and just go for the safe shots, which is what we do a lot in this game. So really, when it comes to aiming, just practice makes perfect. The more you try it, the better you're going to get at it. You just need to know kind of throw times, what kind of distance, what kind of height you need to be looking at. Uh, this one point, I get a really nice long range one. I've, I don't know if we've gone past it or not, but there was a guy on the roof, just got a nice long range tomahawk on him. So if you want to improve your accuracy, play on 7 sensitivity like me. I've tested out lots of different sensitivities and I find 7 is completely ideal for me, but then again, different people are going to find it easier on different sensitivities. So just keep practicing it, test it out, and eventually you'll find something that works for you. So we're getting towards the final score here. We've only got 8 more kills to go for the win. We've got a pretty huge lead on our teammates. So this game, even though we hadn't planned it, we do end it in a rather epic fashion. Thanks so much to an 8th Irish but I'll leave you to wait and see that. And if you could take two seconds to rate this video, it would really be great. It gives me motivation to get the next episode out and better and better gameplay. And it also helps my channel massively to grow. It puts it higher up on the search preferences and things, so that would be great. And if you haven't already done and you enjoyed this, then subscribe. And also leave a comment with some nice feedback for me. So that is it, we won by 20 kills and you have this lovely kill cam to enjoy. Even though we did say that we weren't going to go for kill cams, an 8th Irish with the 360 bouncing tomahawk. So I really hope you all enjoyed this and I just want to give a massive thank you to everyone involved with this video.